Hi everyone. So for my lineup of wines today for Mother's Day, I have to say I have accumulated a particularly stellar array. Um, in my opinion, if you're thinking of gifts for mom, she wants wine. So we're gonna go with that. So we'll start off with my champagne choice for the day because we're going champagne. This is the Andre Jacquard uh, Vertus Experience. It's a Blanc de Blanc, so that's 100% Chardonnay. Um, this is a grower champagne, which is something that I'm seeing a little rising in popularity. Grower champagnes are crafted by the families that cultivate the grapes on their own estate. So there's not as much in terms of volume on the market. Uh, you definitely get more of a unique expression, which I like in champagne. So this has, this is very fresh and rich. Mm. Beautiful aroma on that. Wet stone minerality in there. Green pear apple nice citrus great acidity this is very dry it's actually extra brut so incredibly dry but what i pair this with oysters caviar why not chilled lobster tail um i like it for brunch quiche maybe um and then if i would definitely think maybe saumonier or steamed lobster perfect and for a price this would be in the 55 dollars range um, mom isn't going to want to share so if you would like to try this get two Moving over to our whites, this is the Villa Alpini. This is from Frilli in Northern Italy. Not all Pinot Grigios are created equal. This is an outstanding, elegant expression of the grape. Very crisp. There's a lot of depth in there. Maybe some peach and citrus, also some green apple. Um, for pairings, I like this with a cheese plate. Um, sort of an aperitif perhaps, uh, I would think maybe um, pasta primavera or even an antipasti, charcuterie, all would be really nice with this. And this is in the $18 range. Uh, for our second white, I have a Vouvray. This is the La Cray. So Vouvray is an appellation in the Loire Valley and the grape is Chenin Blanc. Chenin Blanc is one of those grapes that can um, be made into a range of styles of wine. You can have it all the way bone dry to very sweet. This is demi sec, which means it's on the sweeter side. This is going to be lush. Mm. Mm, beautiful. Honeysuckles in there, plum, nectarine. Um, what I would put this with would be uh, goat cheese for a cheese. I like it with Asian food. A little spice to it would be nice. Maybe some Vietnamese. And then um, I was also thinking perhaps like a gingered pork would be a lovely pairing as well. And this is an 18 to $20 price point. Beautiful whites for Mother's Day. Shifting over to our rosé. So uh, this this is the Chateau Beaubois. This is from the Crocier de Nîmes in the Rhone. Uh, it's a blend of Syrah, Grenache, and Cinso, one of the classic cuvées for a rosé that I love, I particularly love. It's dry. Mm. Very fresh. A lot of red fruit in there, cherries, a little tangerine, a little spice. Um, this is a rosé you could just open and sip on a beautiful afternoon. It doesn't necessarily need a pairing. You could put it with fish. You could put it with um, shrimp cocktail would be very nice with it. Also, you could do this with grilled sausage. A little spice would be nice. Uh, and this is in the $15 range. And this is a biodynamic wine for those of you who are interested in that style. And finally, our red for the day is the pavette, which is French for little peacock. Um, this is actually from California, a Pinot Noir. So um, give this a taste. This is a little richer, a little more uh, fruity. Mm. There's also a little spice in that. So I would say for fruits, cherry, raspberry, that spice, hibiscus maybe. Um, and for food pairings on this, uh, I would think duck or salmon like a grilled salmon would be very nice. Uh, and this is around $18. Um, and it's it. I would probably recommend a small chill with this. Uh, and also it would be very nice with a little bit of chocolate. Salted caramel would be heavenly with that. So this is my array of wines. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there.